Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Nauvis. Now V. Now this. Novice. However you want to say it, we are back home. Or at least whatever we can consider to be home. And it is now time to figure out where to go now that I've been to all three planets. So in the last episode, as you remember, we, we got stack inserters running. So that's a thing now. We should have, yeah, we've got a bunch building up uh, here. So I'll be able to use those where we need them. Um, it's time to make my base unhappy by turning on personal logistics. And we'll just sit here for a minute and let things happen. And then, yeah, at this point, we have a lot of work to do. This is where the game can get really overwhelming. So we're going to try to take it one thing at a time. Um... The first thing I want to work on is better modules. Modules and beacons, because we're going to be beaconing and moduling everything, right? And so without having better modules, our builds are going to be slower than we want them to be, and then we're going to make them bigger than we need them to be. So I'd rather start with some better modules. I think the base can support that. Um, oh, I haven't even researched. Why am I doing these before epic quality? OK, we need to research epic quality first, of course. Um, but yeah, getting getting epic quality modules, I think, is kind of my priority one. The problem is those are really expensive. And so then it's like, well, should the priority one be making better circuits? So I might need to redo the red and green circuits here first. I've already redone the blue circuits. Um, but yeah, that's that's where we're going in this episode. Um, we'll see. We'll see what we can get done. Uh, we're gonna grab stack inserters in the inventory and yeah we're gonna have to do some chaos here so first thing I want to do is put these uh, as uncommons because I've got those running now am I collecting uncommons at the hub yes There's no reason to have these requests be smaller. I mean, they might as well be huge. Because what that's all, that's only going to cost me Vulcanist resources, which is are free, right? Like they're free in the sense that I don't actually, I'm not like spending them to do it. If Vulcanist is backed up, it might as well be working on making some uncommon foundries. Is my point. Um, if that makes any amount of sense. So, you lost the stream. Uh, things are fine on my end, so blame Twitch. Um, now, why is Vulcanist Science not? Did we turn off? I did. Why did I, wait, no. We have science requested. What what's going on here? Why do you not have Vulcanist packs? Did, did Vulcanist die? Mm. No. Do these not have a limit? Ah, there's the problem. There's the problem. Uh, <laughs> whoops. Uh, what is it called? Electromagnetic? No, that's the other one. Uh, I have no memory of what this thing is called. Metallurgic science. Oh, we have 60,000. Okay. Uh, yeah, we've got enough of those for a while. Uh, let me make sure. The green ones are fine to not be limited because that they're just going to turn into spoilage. So I'm going to need a spoilage getter rid of her in my Nauvis network at some point. I've only got 6,000 for now, so that's fine. But uh, yeah, that uh, was a little bit of a mistake. Whoops. Whoopsies. Okay, so... First order of business is make an upgrade planner that upgrades red and blue belts to green. 
So this will be our green belt getter. Blue. 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 Green, green, green. Okay. Green belts. Okay, so that will be useful for where we need more throughput. And let's... <sighs> what to start with? Yeah. I think I want to make modules on this... Kind of off of this belt of stuff. So, let's redo this build. Now that we have cliff ex- oh, do we have cliff explosives? Did I forget to import those? Uh, we sure did. Dang. But we have calcite, so I can just make them here? What, what does a cliff explosive require again? Uh, explosives, barrel, calcite, grenade. Okay, so I should be able to make those. Uh-oh. What's this about? Come on now. Yeah, attacks are going to get a little more intense. Um, now that I'm back and adding new pollution makers. So that's going to be interesting. But yeah, where am I making explosives already? I know we've got some. Yeah, explosives. Steel. I guess I don't have grenades right here. Hmm. Well, the derp removes already here. Let me just add cliff explosives 200 to the list. Okay, so anyway, so that's going, we'll get cliff explosives. So now, we'll head over to these guys. And our first order of business is to use the doodads. We'll just deconstruct all this. And by doodads, I mean uncommon electromagnetic plants. Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful. Okay. These are going to be so much faster, it's not even funny. Especially with better modules in them. It's ridiculous. Um, and we'll definitely use stack inserters as the output. And then... The input... It's pretty slow on everything. Um, but we should probably stack inserter those. So those are stacked, and yeah. So here the problem becomes, oh, seven things getting damaged? Now that's problematic. They really like attacking over here. What's funny is there's not even pollution out there. It's just, I think they're spawning close enough or something? I don't know how that works. Because there's not even pollution. I don't know why we're getting attacked there. Anyway, um, let's get these things on. You know, uncommon medium power poles. That's that's maybe the first thing I should work on, because. <laughs> That would be very nice, because um, this is a situation... I guess I could use undergrounds here, and then that'll let me fit substations in. Okay. So there we go. Um, oh, what am I doing? This... They need way more items. 
Uh, the plastic should be the, the part that fell. It didn't matter as much when I had the slower assemblers, but now it certainly matters. Uh, so we need to do it like that. There we go. Um, yeah, exactly. Uncommon mediums is a huge deal because they can go over assemblers and I can put one next to these, a set of four uh, inserters and it would power them all, which is another thing that's like really annoying about setting all that up. So we're just going to go with prod twos for now. And I believe that this is basically to go here. Copy those. And there we go. Now, I don't remember how many I was producing before. What was my red circuit production? We were at 350 max. And now we're at 500. Okay, so we've already got a lot more going. Um... And we're so much more productive about it, which is what's amazing, right? Plus 80% productivity is huge. Huge productivity bonus. Um, science is sciencing. That's good. I, I also have no idea, like, are copper and iron okay? These patches still seem fine, and once I put the big drills on them, they're gonna be fine, probably for the rest of the game. Cause, 1.5 million, but then we're gonna do the uncommon big drills, which we've already, with the current math, is more than tripling the actual ore output. We should be fine. Um, and then yeah, this copper patch is maybe gonna run out. This one will not, and then I've got that one as the backup. So I think we'll actually be okay on ore, which is beautiful. You know, now here's another interesting thought that I hadn't thought until just now. Because the miners output pre-stacked items, that makes me almost want to remove this train and just use belts or trains at home, so to speak, and just put a belt down here because they're already stacked, so a single belt has an absurd amount of throughput, right? Like a turbo belt, I haven't even done the final research, and I can already do 180 ore per second. That's absurd on a single belt. So it kind of makes me feel like, do I even need trains right there? And I think the, the answer is no, unless I really bump up the, the throughput. Um, so that's really interesting. Because it makes trains look a lot more sad compared to belts <laughs> once you have stacking. Uh, default map settings? Yes, everything is default. Okay, so now we need to get the greens uh, productive. Do I have cliff explosives here yet? No. No, and the Derpamu unfortunately is going to Gleba every trip um, that's so that it can drop calcite for Gleba I wonder can you do an interrupt based on I don't think you can this is where I really wish we could send interplanetary signals so that we could basically say like if Gleba Yeah, like if Gleba needs calcite, then go there. Otherwise, we wouldn't. Um, yeah, I don't know. That would be cool if we could do interplanetary signals, but we cannot. What if you mine directly into trains? Now, there's another interesting thought. Um, it's kind of a pain in the butt because of how you have to position everything. But the new miners having a big, like... I'll call it a skirt, you know, like the extra area outside of their actual hitbox. That helps it to be less awkward, uh, but it still is kind of awkward. Okay, so now let's rebuild this part. Um, we'll ignore the lack of cliff explosives for now. 
and just unbuild all of that. We're gonna need a whole new, a whole new world for those. Yeah, I guess trains are more convenient than belts. Exactly, because of their ability to like do a lot of things without you having to manually set it up. But yes, when you need just a point to point, belts are the belts are the truth now. Um, wait, what did I do here? Why is that not reaching the building? Am I crazy? I am. Yeah, okay. I am completely crazy. Um, that's fine, I think. I don't need beacons for those. Um, but the beacons for the green chips will be th this set of beacons. So... So these will be green circuits. And let's figure out how this works. Uh, radars only go on the same surface. So. That's the thing. Um, okay, so we need green circuits. And... I have no idea what the rates are going to look like for this. So let's test some speed modules here. Um, I just got to get everything powered up. And then we'll do tier 2 prod. These aren't going to be exactly right, but it's at least ballpark. Oh my god. 32.7 per second. It needs 54 cable. Whoa, that's insane. Okay, uh, cool, 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 cool. So then... Is one feeding cable enough? If it has speed beacons? This is gonna be an interesting... Uh, thing, now that... Yeah, I don't actually know if these are gonna be fast enough even. Uh, it seems like they are if they have the same amount of <laughs> beaconage. Wow, wow, wow. Are there higher quality beacons? Yes. There are higher quality beacons, higher quality modules, higher quality buildings. There's the whole nine yards. Um, okay, so the question is, how are we going to get the iron in? Because the rate of insertion is going to require a lot of... Stack inserters are technically a little bit faster, because they move 16 instead of 12. Uh, that is a 33% increase, but it's not a massive increase. Um, in most cases, I'm probably going to use bulk inserters still, unless we really need the stacks. So, okay, so the iron... We could space these out more, but I'd really like to make it work like this. And so we'll see if we can. You know me from the Pi Discord? Hey, Neko. Yeah, Pyanodons is something I'm very excited to get back to at some point. What's up, Shield Flyer? Howdy, howdy. So how do we do this? I feel like there could be a way. Hmm. <sighs> Is it finally time to break to break my own rules and do belt weaving? I hate belt weaving. Those who know me know that I don't do belt weaving, but this would be the perfect opportunity to to do something like that for the iron in on the same line as the as the circuits out. Oh no, it's too beautiful. It feels like it must be done that way, but I don't want to do it that way. Okay, there's still the other option, which is space out the um, 
You did direct insertion from foundries. Yeah, I, I'm not dealing with foundries yet. I'm doing one, one thing at a time and I wanna get good modules going. And so I'm gonna use the plate production we already have to make good modules. And obviously using the EMPs is gonna massively increase how many uh, modules we can get. The problem is I don't even know if this mini is fast enough. This is not gonna be fast enough. Not even close. So, um, so I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm not going to belt weave. I, I, I might do it someday, but not today. Today is not that day. Uh, no belt weaving today. What we're going to do is just something kind of basic. So we're gonna feed in the, the iron plates like so, and then we're gonna feed in the copper cable coming from beyond. From beyond, make it sound so ethereal, um, like this. And then that'll let us utilize beacons uh, in between. And in fact, if we put them right here, it'll let us utilize the same beacon for the same maker. And those will be stack. So that's the plan. Um, yes, copper cables are cheaper in foundries, but they require a, a larger rebuild. So we're starting with small rebuild for now. Um, okay, and then these need to be fed copper, which I can actually do right here, so that's kind of nice. And I don't even know if those two will be fast enough. They might not be. Have we still... Wait, no, 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 I'm confused. If the Derpa moves at Novus... Oh... I need a request. Right, I thought they were the same, but they're not. Um, when I say the same, I mean the same uh, group. They're not the same group. I changed it to the Nauvis requests. I'm not sure if that's more helpful or less helpful, but it's what we did. Okay, so this is good. Get the prod modules in you. And yeah, I mean, can I do this better? I guess uh, I'm thinking if I put the copper on the other side, could I fit more onto these? But the problem is like that isn't going to work. So no, I don't think I can. I could make it so that we have three each by doing this. That might be better. And then we put them in pairs again, like so. And then something like that. Okay. Well, I mean, it's gonna do something. <laughs> it's gonna do something. Uh, okay, stack inserter out. Will I need two of these? I actually might. Substation on that side. And this is gonna be beautiful. We're finally gonna have hella green circuits. <sighs> Glorious. Glorious stacked green circuits. All right, so then we will copy. Roger, Roger. Uh, copy that. Super force build it, and then we'll just move these to there.
Yeah, coffee paste would be nice and satisfactory. Um, I wanted it quite a few times, but the blueprints are a huge help over when we didn't have them, but it still is nothing like copy paste. Okay, so that is now using all of the iron for sure, so I, I don't really need any more than that. We're using way less copper than before because of this 80% productivity. So weirdly, I have a better... I, I use more iron per circuit now, at least in terms of the ratio. I'm still using less iron per circuit in terms of absolute amounts, though, which is great. But... Yeah, there we go. Okay, and now I just need some more cable. Um, which... Yay, cliff explosives! Oh, we've been waiting a long time to be able to do that. That felt good. That felt really good. Okay, um... What if I just... Uh, I don't know how many we need. I feel like just a couple is enough. Maybe. So large. Uh, maybe they'll be fast enough without beacons. Maybe. Mm, it's only 10 a second. These need... Uh, actually, yeah, a couple without a beacon might actually be fast enough. And I could even put a beacon um, here. Mm, no, I can't. That won't fit. Uh, yes, it will if I do this. Okay, yeah, I think one beacon will be more than good enough here. And then... That's gonna get us... Plenty. Copper cable. Stacked onto this belt. Which I'm actually not side-loading properly. Let's make sure we do that case of future issues. And then that'll give us all the wire we need. Scorpatron, good luck on the Gleba. Nonsense. And yes, Dave, the, <laughs> we hadn't, hadn't gotten that figured out yet. Okay, so this should now get us a crap ton more circuits for these belts. That was the purpose of all this. That was the purpose of all of that. Now, let's go ahead and put speed threes in here since we've got them. Got them, flaunt them, right? Boost up prod of those blue circuits. And we probably need more of the reds. Okay, so now it's a plastic issue, seems like. Alright, I can live with that. I can live with that. Epic quality seems to be progressing just fine. And... Yeah, so I love belt stacking. I'm just gonna say it. Belt stacking is beautiful. I could see myself going to Gleba first in future runs just for belt stacking. Um, the reason is it requires zero rebuilding, right? Like it makes, it makes your base have so much more throughput with zero effort 
Like, now this red belt here has stacked red circuits, but I don't have to change anything. All of the mods, part of why I like it so much is because I've used belt stacking, right? Deadlocks belt stacking mod before. And part of the frustration of that is that you have to, you know, like stack the things and then unstack them. And so it always requires work on the other end to get that extra throughput. And that was always kind of frustrating, but now it's like, I don't have to do that. So that's really, really, really nice. Oh my goodness. Um, now, plastic. Uh, what's the, what's the problem here? Like, I don't even need to upgrade that to a green belt. I can just put stack inserters here. And boom, we've tripled our belt throughput. So like, it's crazy. Like stack inserters are way better than turbo belts in terms of what it actually does for throughput. Ironically though, turbo belts are better for Gleba because of getting stuff where it needs to go faster, but. All right, behemoth spitters, eh? I guess those are always gonna be a problem. Uh, rare laser turrets will probably fix that issue because they'll have a lot more range. But that's tomorrow's problem. Um, so this is gonna be pretty easy. I'm not gonna deal with nutrients right here yet, but at some point bioplastic might be the... Actually, wait, can these make regular plastic too or only bioplastic? Oh, uh, they can only make bioplastic. Interesting. So you could bring all of that. You'd bring the Yumako fruit, not Yumako mash, but that would be an interesting way to go about things that we're not doing right now. Uh, let's get some prod in all of these. And now our plastic production is just amped up to 10. Probably won't have enough oil and or coal to keep up at this point. My game is hitting, um... Here's the number. My game is hitting a hitch once in a while. I don't... I don't understand what's happening. Um... Update 3.0. I'll check it next time. That So what this is showing is the number of milliseconds per update. And this one on the right is, I think it measures like the, the maximum of the last five seconds or whatever. Um, so if you're ever seeing that go above 16.6, .6, that means you are having a hitch or a frame drop sometimes. Um, so next time I feel one, I'll check that and see if it's my imagination or not. Anywho, uh, what else are we doing? So we've got circuits going... Oh, there was one. But it's not showing problem. What the heck is going on? I certainly felt it. Oh, is it is it a GPU thing? That would be weird. Never had a GPU issue before. There, 31.7. What is taking so long? Where's the big number? See which one's giving all of the. Huh. So it's an FPS thing. Now that's weird. 
never in my life had an FPS hitch in Factorio. Odd. I'm actually curious now. I wanna. I wanna. Cause it, it was a noticeable like frame skip or two, you know. Oh well, I'll try to check again next time it happens. Anyway, uh, are these circuits all running? Uh, what's what's the situation? Okay, yeah. So it seems like we have enough. So now it's time for some gambling. So we're gonna set up a proper gambling uh, setup, which. We sort of did on Fulgora. I, I probably should at least paste this just to look at it, um, just to have kind of a reference. I don't think I'm going to use the exact same thing, but but let's just put that there, and we can kind of use it for inspiration, because we did sort of solve these problems already some of them. There's certainly unsolved things going on here, but but yeah, so the pipes were there, but what actually needs pipes when you're using electromagnetic plants? Super capacitors, super conductors, maybe the science packs, blue chips, Tesla turrets. So basically, nothing that I'm gonna make here. Um, so I don't need <laughs> 1 800 gambler. Yeah, exactly. I, what's the hotline? I need help. Um, I also found out, by the way, the recycler, uh, as far as its rate, recycles at 1 16th the time. Uh, but the recycler by default has a speed of one half, so then you have to account for that, right? So really, if you have eight crafting speed worth of output, which means you need to kind of multiply your productivity into that, right? This has a crafting speed of 1.5. I guess it's over here for you guys. Um, crafting speed of 1.5, productivity of plus 50%. That's really gonna be a total output of 2.25 units of output. And that means you will need essentially one fourth of a recycler to handle just that building if it was running constantly. So, so that's just something we have to keep in mind with all of this is how many recyclers we need. But, but yeah, I think the question is, do I want to do this same idea where I have more of the tier ones or the commons, I should say, or do I want to just have something I really want to do a circuit controlled one, but that feels so sketchy. Where I have one that's making, you know, the module, and then I have the other one. Oh, am I delivering tungsten carbide, by the way? Uh, 500, we should probably bump that up a little bit. Though, I don't have a ton of stacks left. I can bump it up to a thousand though. Because I'm going to want a lot of speed threes, right? So, Cridania, or no, Navis. Uh, are we requesting the carbide? I am. Yes. Let's go to 2,000 for the requests. Uh, anyway, okay, so I would love so much to set the quality that we need to make based on there's two problems with this problem one it's uber complicated and we might spend the next five hours figuring it out uh this kind of it's got its pros and cons it'll be fun um problem two is fighters uh though that wasn't something i was gonna list until they showed up. I might need to start tanking. Doing some things with tanks here. Maybe we should do some dragon's teeth? Couldn't hurt. Though those might just get murdered immediately. 
Um, yeah, so, okay, so here's my thought. I As we're recycling ingredients, it took you 30 hours to do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, the, the problem is... So when you select it, there's just a lot of complicated edge things that you have to account for. Like, it's not as simple as it sounds. Because, first of all, it's going to end up with trash in it, so you have to put that back into the chest network. And then, this is where having a bigger chest would be really helpful. Oh, there's a base that's killing robots. Sad. Um... And then the the thing, okay, I can't find words today. The thing that I'm trying to say that's a downside that we'll have to account for is when we make the epic modules, the problem is we don't want quality, and we're ignoring legendary right now, I don't have legendary. So we don't want the building to have quality modules in it when we're making the epic because then we're wasting what could be... Oh, no, never mind, we're fine. You can't use productivity on modules. Now, for, for something else where you could use productivity, uh, this would be an issue. Because you actually want productivity modules when you're making the highest tier of what you can make, because otherwise you just waste... These are wasted slots. So in that case, I might have a building that's just there to make the epics. The other one, excuse me, the other one makes the uncommons and rares and cycles back and forth. Obviously, once you have legendary, then the one building is making the middle three. You have one for legendary. Otherwise, you have to cycle the modules in and out, and that even, that triply complicates things. Can you even do that? If you filter an inserter to remove specifically that type of module, will it take the modules out? Or can you can you not remove modules from the module slots in an automated way? Would this require like recursive blueprints? Yeah, I don't know. Can you switch out modules in vanilla in an automated fashion? I actually don't know if you can do that. Um, anyway, we're not going to worry about that, thankfully, because of what we just said. And quality three requires superconductors. Do we have a bunch of those already? We do. We have 2,000. Okay. You can't. Okay. Well, there you go. There's the answer. So, anyway, let's at least investigate what it would look like to, to do what we would like to do. Maybe we can. Maybe we can't. Um, so we've got the ingredients coming in over here and then what we're going to do is we would output all of the outputs into some sort of chest and then if we have enough of the ingredients so 5514 five, of a certain rarity, we want to change the recipe to be that rarity, then it will put those items in, produce the uncommon one, maybe upgrade it, and then spit it all back out. And then we need a separate thing that chooses what to recycle. So I think this can work. Uh, we may have to do something like this, you know, so it just puts everything back into the same chest and then we have some sort of recycler that do I have the uncommon recyclers I do I have 70 so let's switch that over uh, to uncommon and then you could switch between buildings that have different module setups, yeah. Um, a sushi belt instead of a chest would be hilarious. It might be what we're gonna need to do um, because a chest doesn't have enough connections.
Well, hold on. No, 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 I can do it this way. <laughs> oh yeah, now we're thinking with recyclers. Uh, probably better to do it like here. This is, this is utter nonsense. What are we doing with, oop, what are we doing with our lives? But theoretically this works, right? Like we recycle the things we want to recycle. So we'll have to set the filters on a, based on circuit condition. And then we set this based on circuit condition. I mean, this, this can work. This can work. Set recipe. Do we need to read the ingredients? Um, or will we just let the inserters do the, their jobs? My thought is all we do is set the recipe. This inserter will automatically feed what it needs to feed into the building. The problem is if it has something in its hand and then the recipe gets changed while it's moving. That's that's what would be or before it inserts, then is it going to get stuck? Or will it finish its swing and those will go into the trash? I think I think it'll get stuck. Like if this had uncommons and then that grabbed some items and then it changed to rare, now it's got uncommon bits in it. What's it going to do with those? Is it going to put it? See, part of the problem is I don't know exactly how all these behaviors are going to work. And so I don't know exactly what's going to make this function. But let's just go with and I'm going to use more combinators rather than less because that will make my life easier. Um, So what if we just, let's start with a simple idea. Read the contents. And what are the recipes? Five red, five blue, a super con, and a quality two. So what if we just say we need all of those? Uh, I'm sure there are more effective ways to do this with without I'm just going to use one combinator per rarity uh, rather than something crazy fancy. So what if I did uncommon of each of those? I'm just using the control or the shift alt scroll wheel thing right now to change those. Um, greater than or equal to And we do one, enter, four, enter, five, enter, five. output, set the recipe to be quality module three, uncommon, right? Right? Yes? I mean, will this not work to set the recipe? I believe it will. And then that will put the ingredients in. It'll run. That'll put everything in here, which then goes back into that chest. I mean, look, I think this is, this is all we need. Yeah, that default, that's exactly what I was just saying. What, what if when changing recipes, the inserter, inserters held hands? Oh, oh, I, I thought you were just asking if it had something in its hand. Um, I have no idea what's going to happen. Okay, so change the quality on all this. How did I change quality without clicking? Uh, that's what I was just explaining. The shift alt scroll wheel. It's beautiful. It's the beautiful trick they don't tell you in school these days. So, call me crazy. I 
think it's gonna work. <laughs> it's not. I know it's not, but it, it feels like it might. You know, it's it's giving me some some false hope at least. Um, I'm still not sure what'll happen if it changes at the wrong time. I feel like this is gonna run for like an hour and then it's gonna break. It's gonna be that sort of thing. So now we just need to control the the recycling. So these are gonna set the filters on what gets pulled out, and I'm gonna pull out one at a time, at most. Um, and so that's gonna be based on the same chest contents. So we'll do the same input, and this will output, basically we just need to recycle regulars if we have too many regulars. Um, and this is where my own personal usage could come into play. Like, do I want to keep some uncommons? Do I want to keep some regulars? I think I'm going to say goodbye to regulars forever. I'm not going to do any regulars. I'm going to do only uncommons and higher. So I'll just always, yeah, if it's greater than zero, yeah, that's done. And then we need the ability to recycle excess uncommons and excess rares so if i have maybe more than i won't recycle uncommons until i have more than 200 eh, that feels a bit extreme 150 um and then rares also 150 and i'll never recycle epics so then I set filters based on what we read off the network. More stuff getting damaged. Um, how's power, by the way? I might need some more nuclear power at some point because these these new buildings consume a ridiculous amount. So my my two by two nuclear might not actually run forever. Um, oh, by the way, I only have 200,000 uranium, so let's let's make that more uh, long-lasting real quick. This will only take a minute. So, one, two, three, four. Um, what? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Boom, boom. Done. Uh, how much could these handle? I mean, not that I need to, because I already have an absurd amount of bright green glowies, but... You could even put productivity modules in here. And then just get a single beacon for both. Okay, so now we have productivity of 74% with a resource drain of only 41%. So whatever whatever 1.74 divided by 0 0.41 is, 4.2 is our total bonus. So even though I only have 195,000, I'm really getting like 800,000. Yeah, that's dope. Uh, we're not gonna run out of uranium for a long time, especially because we have Covarex processing. So, back to the craziness. Um, did we decide that we're basically done? I mean, is this just... Is this the truth? Have we? Have, do we win? I don't know, but it seems pretty nice. Is there a way I can make it more compact is then the next question.
We do want to stop at some point. <laughs> it, it currently doesn't have a stop running uh, clause, which maybe should exist for once we have enough, like, epics. So then... Maybe this one... Or no, no, no. Maybe I just have the original whatever's feeding it will be based on the contents uh, having less than however many epics. Does it work, question mark? I have no idea if this works. That's why we're here to find out. Um, now, the other problem is I'm gonna wanna combine multiple of these together. So really, I need maybe a red cable that ties them all together and then that's what measures. Because I kind of want the epics between all of them to be less than 200, not just this one. Um, I guess we could do a provider chest. And then we request, uh, but see, I don't want Mmm, tricky. Enable. No. Well, I guess I'm not requesting those modules anywhere. But then it's like making the parts available to the bot network. Which I don't like. So yeah, I don't know if I like this. Um, hmm. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Yeah, I don't like that method. I like the other method better. But then I have to manually fetch them. Hey, Sumerian, how's it going? How's the factory owing? Well, we are working on a gambling machine right now, and it's not quite as easy as I thought. Oh, you know what I could do? We could just put the, oh, there we go. If epics are truly the, uh, the output, we could just do this, and I can just filter out the epics like that, and then would the biters just stop biting already? Come on, guys. Chill. Chill out. Yeah, a sushi belt might have been a better idea, but here we are. Uh, and then this one needs to have a filter that is all the other types. Uncommon. And normal. I'll go back in. Stomper's gonna stomp, biter's gonna bite. I guess it is the way of things, isn't it? Okay, now all of this is irrelevant because uh, I still need <laughs> quality module twos and stuff. So so we're gonna need to establish some, some making of tier one and two modules here. I don't know how many. So when did I switch to making not uncommons? That was on accident. So quality ones are 15 second craft time. Quality twos need 60 seconds worth of time to make a 30 second recipe. So you need twice as many ones as you need twos. That's not technically true because of productivity, but uh, I can't be arsed to figure out the exact ratio. So then, for this, I am going to mostly use inserters, and then I'll use requester chests on the other side. Um, for these guys. And then they'll all use provider chests. Limited based on again, why am I doing each one individually? I don't know. <sighs> Limited based on this. 
less than 50. This is just to keep a supply chain running. I mean, maybe I should do 150, but when am I going to use quality one? I don't know. Never. Why waste the resources? Um, and that's how we do that. Now, again, I know people are going to be like, oh, but you could use you could use quality modules in these, which is true, but then you can't use speed beacons. And number two, I won't raise that finger by itself. I almost did. Uh, <laughs> and then number two is that you can't because then I don't have the chips, right? I don't have these things. And so then I would need to make quality gambling loops for those things to add the higher rarities of these things into the pool. Or I could go back to where I'm actually making these things and change those into quality. But then I'm using quality instead of productivity. Like at the end of the day, I don't even know how much of a benefit that is. And it certainly is, is more complicated. So I'm not gonna do it that way. We're just gonna do the, the gambling loop on the final step. Um. And now I need to remove wherever I was making these before. So let's quit all that stuff. Get rid of that stuff. Okay, so I think this will be enough of these things. Uh, request. I don't know how fast these are going to craft. Maybe it's not enough. Uh, how fast is this? It needs 1.38. Uh, maybe I need a few more then. Let's go with 30. Alright, and then... Copy this. Copy this. Can we appreciate the symbolism of burying myself in a metal casket? It really is beautiful. It's the perfect, the perfect casket shape. Yeah, no, Waskily, you're, you're very much correct. I think at the end of the day, the most efficient way is to gamble quality on every single tier, but it certainly is not the simplest way. Um, okay, so then this guy is gonna need reds and... I kind of want beacons in here, too. Be able to make these faster. I guess we can fit a substation there. And then... Move this one closer. Ah, oh, control X is just a beautiful thing, isn't it? Uh, we'll do that, and then we'll need a requester chest just for the super capacitors. Oops, I deleted the one thing I had to copy. Not 200 though, how about just 50? Okay, so it's running. Um, will it work? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, Sumerian, there's no such thing as too many beacons for there. Like, it'll always be worth it. I don't know what you mean by worth it, I guess is the question. Like, adding the 16th beacon does not have a huge effect, but it still does make things faster. So, it's very much. Oh, I did need um, these guys too. Probably not 50 of them, though. Yeah, how about... 18? Maybe 20? Okay, now... That... 
should be set to 20 for now because I do need some some tier threes. I don't have tier threes right now. Let's start by upgrading these guys. A two rare is better than a three, which is also interesting, but we'll ignore that for now. Uh, we'll get the tier threes in the recycler. Ah, oh, frick. Ah, I screwed up. I pooed the scrooge. Um, I'm not making normals from recycled materials. Right. That's a thing. Um... Should I do it the same way? I guess I should, right? Yeah. Okay, so this does the same type of thing. Oh god, sorry. You know guys, you'd think I'd remember that you can't use speed modules in quality. Thank you, Alexander. I have forgotten that almost every single time I've used quality. Maybe literally every single time. I don't know what it is, but that reality is not sticking in my brain. I just literally don't think about it. I know it's a fact. I've known the fact since before Space Age even released, and I cannot seem to remember it when I'm actually setting this stuff up. Ugh. But yeah, Sumerian, as far as whether you surround an assembler with beacons or beacon by assemblers or which, where's the breakpoint in terms of space used for a certain amount of throughput or whatever, I don't know any of those answers. I'm sure somebody's doing the math somewhere. Okay, that makes these very slow then, which is a bummer. But yeah, otherwise I won't have the quality. Okay, so... No beacons, right. Right, right, right. But back to this. Um, so to reuse the normal ingredients. Uh oh. Yeah, I knew it wasn't going to work and we're already there. Um, the good news is when it changes the recipe, it does just put it in the output slot. The bad news is why is this? Oh, this just needs to be blacklisted on... Because it's also going to have trash stuff. <laughs> this is funny. I've made I've made a mess. Ah, beautiful. And we're an hour and eight minutes, so I'm probably going to be done with the YouTube episode soon. I will be... I will continue streaming live, but for the recorded section, I'll be done. I feel like I have to explain that every time because it's confusing. Um, anyway, quality module three epic is the blacklist. So that's that so the problem here is it's not staying set right it needs to stay set so that means we need to read the contents of this and also add them into the the totals and we need to read what this is holding um as well so I think if I do this and I say read hand contents hold and then I set the recipe with the red wire instead of a green wire, disconnect these and set it with a red and then I connect it with a green to that and also say read contents. No, because now it's going to set the recipe to whatever it sees on the green wire. I really wish these had green and red buttons attached to them. Because this just isn't going to work. Um, because it's going to just set the recipe to tier 2 or whatever. It's literally what it's done already. Ah, uh, butts. Alright, well, I think we will uh, continue debugging this. But we'll have to call this the end of 
the YouTube episode. We'll keep streaming, but for those of you here from future YouTube, as always, thank you for watching. If you'd like to support me making these videos, you can head over to patreon.com slash and check that out. Please also join the Discord, which is free. Uh, we have a lot of fun over there, so join. Uh, there's a link in the about section, and you know, we talk about Factorio, people share their builds, people are playing Satisfactory over there. We've had seasons where a lot of people are talking about modded minecraft so you know whatever games you're playing come over we can chat about them and uh yeah hope to see you guys there and as usual leave a comment let me know what you think we'll keep working on this gambling machine and i'll see you in the next one